and good evening from down under. Uh, my name is Ozzy Stern and today is a new project that I'm starting on. So as you can see from the screen, I've got some Star Wars Legion models that I shall be working on painting. As you can see, I've already painted two of them. And I'll discuss why I've painted the, these two already very shortly. But all of these colors out the back, various shades of browns, blues, grays, greens, reds, and inks are what I'm going to be using to paint all of them. Uh, so I've got the basic Rebel Trooper pack. I've also got the Rebel Specialists, as well as Mr. Han Solo, and also I've got Anakin, no, Luke Skywalker out the back, some AT-Arties, as well to paint up. But either way, I will be starting on these. I will be showing a step-by-step -step guide as to how I'm painting them. But in the meantime, let's get back to this. Now, why did I paint these two already? Well, it's primarily because when you start a new project like I've just done, you have to decide what you're going to paint, how you're going to paint, what colors do you need, what paint brushes do you need, do you need different types of uh, rubble material or flux material to put on your bases once finished. Now, a lot of people will think, okay, I want to be pretty much known, I know what I want to paint it as, I want to paint it as the original Star Wars miniatures. That may be all good, and certainly I encourage that if you want to paint them uh, just like what we've seen in the movies, go right ahead. On the other side of the question, if you want to paint your Rebels, blues, greens, purples, whatever, that's totally up to you. Myself, I've always thought of when I do painting, I want to set a scene. I want to show something different. Now, with the recent Kenobi series come out, we saw, saw a lot of street scenes of um, Tatooine, and we saw an urban rural area with lots of browns, lots of somber colours and generally not uniform. Hopefully uh, by the time that I get around to the end of this we have the new series of Star Wars and or out which should also have a lot in the way of these somber browns not uniform colourations in, in the way that Star Wars generally has been classic example the um, the award ceremony in episode 4 A New Hope at the end so I decided that I wanted to do an urban I wanted to do a rural so I've chosen to go with a lot of browns and khaki type colours I've also been looking at a number of Star Wars sites and they have suggested that I use what's called oily steel for the weapons. But I, I found that I can get a similar metal effect by using uh, a Games Workshop product called Warp Lock, Lock Bronze. But only very small amount of the actual bronze 
itself, instead using more of the covering colour that, uh, which is almost like a black ink with a little bit of pigmentation of the bronze in it, it gives it that oily, slick look. You'll notice that I've already undercoated quite a lot and that's done in Army Builder or Army Painter series skeleton white, a skeleton bone. And yeah, although the spray paint has been pretty good, there are obviously some thickness in areas and I shall be working on it. You can see that I've already done a Doris, uh, just the skin tone, just to work out how how light I wanted it to be. And then I'll be further highlighting it. Uh, that colour is a mixture of Hawk Turquoise from the GW range or from the Valero range, mixed in with white in a 50-50 ratio to get it down to a very pale blue not quite the ice blue that you can get or the Calidor sky blue from Games Workshop, but even slightly lighter. I've also started, I've used the same blue for the uh, 21B medical droid, as well I've used the um, a green tone from the Games Workshop range. This one, Carabite Green, mixed in with some silver, uh, plate mail silver, to give it just that sort of green metallic tinge, which has come out quite good, which I'll do a bit more tonight before I end my night. But that's it for my project for now. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos coming up in the following weeks of the various stages of painting and I'll hopefully show you the result. Anyway, for now, thank you, and please like, please subscribe, and leave any comments if you think of anything else that you would like me to talk about. But that's it for now. From Aussie Stern, see you later. Bye.